This is question three from paper three one from the June 2020 Cambridge International exams. Up the top right of the screen, you'll find a card that'll bring you to the playlist of my solutions for all the questions in this paper. And below the video, you'll find a link to an image of this question, so you can try it before looking at my solution. This question isn't actually too difficult, but it is really long and really complicated. So I'm sure there's lots of students out there who keep getting the wrong answer. Really, you just have to go slowly through. It's gonna take a lot of space to do, and I'll do that now for you. The question gives us this equation here, the tangent of theta plus 60 is equal to two plus the tangent of 60 minus theta. And it asks us to put that into a quadratic equation. Okay, that's the first, um, bit of knowledge needed. You need to know, how do I get that into a, a quadratic equation? And um, really, how I would know to do this is, I just play around with it and hope one appears. It's not some um, brilliant knowledge that, oh, that's how I get quadratics. I just play around with it and I hope something happens, most of the time at least. Obviously, I have so much practice that I usually know what's going on. But um, in this case, we're just gonna use the fact that the tangent of two angles can be separated out. I'll have to double check with my notes though because I'm not brilliant at remembering the formulas. But the tangent of two angles here separates out to the tangent of theta plus the tangent of 60 all over one minus, yes, uh, minus the tangent of theta um, multiplied by the tangent of 60. And we can rewrite this whole equation this way. Equals two plus, this guy is also the addition of two things, plus uh, a minus theta. And we know what happens, uh, a tangent of minus theta is the same as minus tangent. And so we just use the same formula, or the most, uh, most formulas will give you two different versions if there's a minus. So the other version will just give us out tangent, um, uh, oh, it's in different orders as well. Okay, so tangent 60 minus tangent uh, theta divided by one plus tangent 60 over tangent theta. Okay, so that's uh, our equation rewritten. Now it's becoming clearer to me where I would get quadratic. If I try and um, move things around, move this, multiply everything by this, multiply the two, multiply this by, by this um, expression, I'm gonna get some tangent theta squares. Tangent theta is gonna multiply by this tangent theta. We'll get a square. Same when I multiply this by everyone. Multiply by the two, multiply by here. This tangent theta and this tangent theta will get multiplied. So we are gonna get um, a, a quadratic, or at least we're gonna get tangent theta squared. So hopefully a quadratic will appear. Now there's a few things that save me a lot of trouble here is I don't wanna to have to write tangent theta as much as I'm going to have to write it. So from now on, I am going to write, instead of tangent theta, I'm gonna write whatever you want, any letter you want. I'll just use Y um, for argument's sake. I guess, I could, yeah, let's use X. Uh, there's no X being used. Um, so we'll go ahead and use X there. Also, let's look up what tangent 60 is, and tangent 60 is square root of three. Save us a bit of writing. So let's uh, let's go ahead and rewrite this ju uh, just once, I suppose. Let's go x plus square root of three over one minus uh, square root of three x, this times this, is equal to two plus square root of three minus x over one plus uh, square root of 3x. Okay, this is a lot more manageable of a problem than this. That's why I think most students make mistakes. They try and use this entire big thing and your page just becomes filled with letters and numbers and mistakes happen. All right, so let's uh, try and multiply everything by this. We'll multiply, we'll do it separately just to make sure we don't make mistakes. Multiply everyone by uh, this bottom row here we get x plus square root three is equal to two, two times one minus two times square root of x plus, uh, multiply this by up here I am, square root three, one by square root three minus x minus uh, square root three x times square root three, we'll get a, oh sorry, we'll get a minus, a minus three 
x, square root of 3 by square root of 3 is tr plus 3. Uh, minus square root of 3x by minus x is plus square root of 3 x squared. These last four terms there are still over this one. 1 plus square root of 3x. All right, so we're now starting to see a quadratic appear. And we have an x squared. Um, yeah, it's looking good so far. Let's multiply every one by this guy. This is a, a, a lot of trouble, but we're getting there. Multiply every one by this. We will get x plus square root of 3 um, plus square root of 3x squared plus 3x. You following along with everything? It's 1 times this, 1 times this. Square root of 3x times this, square root of 3x by this. That's where all that came from. Equals, again, we'll do 1 by these two. We'll do square root of 3x by these two. We will get 2 minus 2 square root of 3x uh, plus 2 square root of 3x minus um, 2 times 3. 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 2 times 3, which is 6 and x squared um yes and then we still have this row this set of numbers here plus square root of three minus x minus three uh, x plus square root of three x squared okay now that's a mess and that's why it's understandable students made mistakes um, if you know a simpler way to do this let me know um and i'll happily do a recap video on it but it's not too bad it's not as scary as it looks because now we can actually just start uh, putting things together let's move everything over the left and let's and um, put everything together so let's get the x squares first x squared x squared x squared oh this is good we have a, a square root of three x squared and a square root of three x squared on different sides of the equals they're gone and uh, so we just have this guy here. Let's move him over the left. We'll get 6x squared. All right, let's get all the x's. Uh, here's one. Here's another. Here's another. Here's an, oh, these two are the same. They cancel. Um, here's another. Here's another. All right, let's get them all over the right. Let's see. We have x plus 3x, 4x. We have 5x. We have 8x plus 8x. That's, this is looking good. No square roots even. Um, all the numbers. Let's see. A number, a number, a number. And that's it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have a square root of 3 and a square root of 3. They cancel. So we're actually just left with the 2. Take it over. Minus 2. Equals there we go. We have our quadratic. That's half the question they asked us for. They said find a quadratic. Remember, the, the examiner doesn't know what x is. You made x up. I made x up. So give them their actual answer. And it's 6 tangent squared uh, theta. That's how we write tangent theta squared. And uh, plus 8 tangent theta minus 2 equals 0. Or you know what, let's uh, write that again as 3 tangent uh, at tangent theta squared plus 4 tangent theta minus 1 equals 0. Everything could be divided by 2. All right, that's our quadratic. Now we just have to solve that. Again, it's going to be easier just to keep the x's instead of using the tans. We'll, go, we'll turn it back into tan at the very end. I just did it here because they did ask for the quadratic expression in tan theta. So they would probably take up one mark, maybe half a mark away for not giving them that, even if you answer the rest of the question, fine. Right, I'm gonna rub this out just so I have a bit of room. I'll keep this line and uh, let's keep this line here. Three x squared plus four x minus one equals zero. Cause that's what we're really gonna solve. All right, let me clear this out and we'll get on to the next part. The rest of the question says, hence solve this for, um, for theta, bigger than zero and less than um, 180, I'm sorry, 180. So we're gonna be solving for tan at the end. We'll do the quadratic here, but we're gonna be solving for tan theta. So it's probably a good idea to have a little idea what tan theta looks like. Looks like that up to 90. Um, and then it looks like this up to 180. So there's uh, between zero and 180 
is there. That's good because nothing is double. We should get unique answers for anything we get in here. So let's go ahead and solve this quadratic. It looks like something, well, we write it again here. x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 0. I feel sorry because lots of students probably would have made a mistake here. They would have tried to factorize this because it looks like you can. 3x, x1 and 1. Um, 3x by x, 3x squared. A plus and a plus will make 4x. But it won't make the minus 1. It actually doesn't work out um, a simple factorization. So we'll have to complete the square or just use the formula. So I'll just go ahead and use the formula. Minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac um, divided by 2a. Now it doesn't matter if we use the one with x's or this one here. This one here, a is 3, b is 4, c is minus 1. And again with the x's, it's 3, 4 and minus 1. No difference. So we can get rid of the x's at this point. Uh, let's do this for uh, this um, equation out to find the answer for tan theta. Uh, we will get minus 4 plus or minus 16 minus 4 times 3 times minus 1. I always do this one slowly because otherwise you end up losing a minus or something simple. Um, divided by 2 times 3, 6. Uh, we clean this up, we get minus 4 plus or minus, let's see, 12 plus 12, that's 28, plus or minus 28 over 6, oh sorry, square root, square root, I'm missing square roots everywhere, my apologies, um, minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 28, uh, we could divide everything by 2, there's no real need to do that, but and let's see, minus 2, plus or minus, that's 3. Um, the square root, or 2 squared is 4. So divide this by 4, we get uh, square root of 7. All right, so that's tangent theta is these two numbers here. You could put down a calculator first. I'd recommend against that. You'd find that one of these is a positive. Uh, yeah, when it's a plus, it'll be a positive. So I'll give us this answer here. And one of them will be a negative, yeah, definitely an even bigger negative, and that'll give an answer here and here. Um, so depending, this is this is important now because depending on what calculator you have, this one will give you this answer at all calculators. Um, but the other one, my calculator gives me this answer. It's my calculator set up to answer anything between minus ninety and plus ninety. Some people's calculators are set up between zero and one eighty. Either way, put this into a calculator or put in tangent minus 1 of minus 2 plus square root of 7 over 3 into a calculator and you will get 12.1. And if you just go ahead into your calculator and go back a few places, change that to a minus, um, or I'll have to write it out again, I guess, uh, minus 2 minus square root of 7 over 3. You will get that to be equal, my calculator will tell me minus 57.1. Some people's calculators will tell you 122.9. This is the correct answer. If you do get this answer, it's just telling you this number here. That's fine because to get from there to there, it's just, um, let's see, minus uh, 57.1. That's minus 57.1 from there so it must be minus 57.1 from 180 so just take uh, this number from 180 you will get this number it's the same thing and we we do that a lot in in maths hopefully that's clear i'm a bit scrunched up over here there's my two answers 12.1 and 122.9 okay uh, if you do have any follow-up questions again if you made mistakes i'm I'm guessing it was a very small problem in that big mess. Do it slowly, go slowly. I, the biggest hint I'll give in this question is to replace tangent theta with some letter. It can be any letter you want, but replace it and make sure to put it back at the end though. Okay, um, ask questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching and have a great day.